trouble with this manual here. fortunate to have the foremost expert in uh, diesel engines, Bob Center, yeah. Yeah. and I asked him to review my yeah. engine room check video, and he sort of liked it, but he came up with some sort of shortcomings in the area of safety. And so I've asked Bob to give us some pointers for doing a safe engine room check. So now I'm going to try to repeat what Bob has uh, explained to me. First of all, we should never enter an engine room without a PFD. Um, you know, obviously, on this boat we never go without PFDs, and that applies to the engine room as well. Next, Bob will demonstrate we should have safety glasses. Never, ever enter an area with equipment, particularly diesel engines, without your safety glasses. Now, just in case there's a fire in the engine room, we want to make sure we're protected with our fire hood, or smoke hood, so I'll be carrying this as we enter the engine room. Ear protection, obviously. So we'll have our, our ears protected. Now Bob gave me a couple of tricks. Uh, number one, just in the event that the boat sinks and I get separated from the rest of the crew, I'm going to carry my own little personal P, uh, uh, EPIRB here, so I'm going to stick that in my pocket. Um, Bob, I had never even thought about this, but there are some hot areas in there, and Bob suggested that a pair of uh, nice oven mitts would be a good idea in case we have to touch any of those hot surfaces. It's very warm. Very, very warm in there. And in case we find some smoking, about to catch fire, oily rags, a pair of tongs is always a good idea. Um, we also want to be prepared with a mask and snorkel in case we are underwater because the engine room obviously will be the first place to go underwater in the event of a could have a sudden unexpected emergency. Yeah, if we have a sudden unexpected hole in the hull and the engine room submerges, a snorkel mm -hmm. will allow us to potentially escape the engine room. And of course, I'm going to be following right behind Bob with the smoke hood and the, the fire extinguisher. However, uh, note that in addition to Bob's PFD, we also want to have a throwable device, and so I'm just going to slip this around myself. Okay, we are now ready for an engine room check, Bob. Are we? Yes, I think okay. we are. See if the fire is out in the engine room. Now, you can't feel the door with those oven mitts, so do we, what would you do? Press your nose up against it? That's what I did, yes. Okay. <clears throat> Let me carefully open the door and step into the engine room. Safe. And now I'm going to follow Bob in. I'm coming, Bob. Okay, great. Okay. I think I have everything now. All right, I'm ready. Whew. I don't see a fire. You see any fires? No, so far we're all right. Okay, great. <clears throat> All right, now let's see, we, we look for leaks first, is that it? I think so. Let me see, I didn't, darn, checklist. I forgot the checklist, but yeah, I think, look for some leaks. Look for fires, tell me if you see a fire. Our back here looks kind of warm. No, it's okay. You didn't see any holes in the hull? No, I didn't see any holes in the hull. I'll see if I can then get a good temperature check on the oil here. Yeah, it looks pretty safe. Okay, as 
or anything else that we need to check? No, nah, it's no. Let's get back to the let's get back to the swim platform. I'm getting kind of warm. Yeah. I can't wait to get back on the swim platform where we can take off these PFDs. Okay, now sometimes we choose to leave the lights out in the engine room because that makes it a lot easier when you first open the door to see if there's a fire. Oh, oh my God, there is a fire! Oh, so if there's a fire, we want to really close that door fast, and we want to we want to then I don't know abandon ship, abandon ship. There's a fire in the engine room. <laughs> 